Hi, my name is Mike Gebert. I'm the chair of the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences. The Earth and Environmental Science Department at Taylor University is unique among Christian colleges. First of all, we were the first program of environmental science offered among Christian colleges way back in 1982. And in 1992, we built our own building. As far as we know, we're the only department of environmental science on any Christian campus has their own dedicated building, 22,000 square feet dedicated just to our department, located right on the edge of campus adjacent to 145 acres of state designated nature preserve, which we use in nearly all of our classes as our outdoor laboratory. We have a strong component of the earth sciences in our program. Many schools have a ecology and biology only focus on environmental science. We build up with our biology focus alongside the earth science focus with geology, landscapes, and hydrology. We build a very strong foundation, a dual foundation of understanding the landscapes, the ecosystems, and how we can best manage them and preserve them. Our motto is science for stewardship and service. We want to think about the three different aspects of that science. We dig deep into the science and think about what do we need to know about geology, biology, chemistry, and other supporting sciences, even policy and uh, economics, to help us understand how the world works. And in fact, through that process, we learn more about our Creator. You know, there are a number of places in scriptures that He calls out to us, says, I've given you this place to take care of in my place. While you're here and I'm not, until I come back, I want you to care for it. And caring for it means not just the environment itself, but the people who live in the environment. We want to implement skills and abilities and, and use the talents that we have, along with the knowledge and the ethics that we have, to really serve God by caring for his creation and serving the other people that live in his creation. We think through um, sort of the science-minded approach of wetland restoration, or river restoration, or prairies, uh, which we study frequently here in the Midwest. Uh, but we also think of it in international settings, such as our trip that goes to Guatemala every other year. While we're down there in Guatemala, we're drilling wells or capping wells, protecting them. We're building latrines that are therefore uh, protecting the environment and groundwater, preventing groundwater contamination. And we're also working in areas of air quality and indoor air quality by building stoves. And we also offer hygiene education training programs for the people. We generally think of our students being prepared for one of three different areas. Many of our students have gone to work for state government agencies such as the Indiana Department of Environmental Management or the Indiana Department of Natural Resources, or many of the other states that are right around Indiana, even as far away as Connecticut and Colorado and California for that matter. We've also had a, quite a few students who have worked in private consulting organizations. Many of them, uh, the organizations are known as environmental engineering organizations or agencies. And uh, most of the work is in groundwater remediation, cleaning up underground storage tanks, uh, in some cases, they'll even work on stream restoration sites. Another third of the students work in mission agencies, uh, for example, or work in environmental education programs, um, or go to work for a variety of other firms or businesses, um, and maybe not specifically in environmental science, but the skills that they learned in terms of thinking and learning are widely applied in a lot of different occupations. We have some sort of earmarks or characteristics that are very common among our students. First of all, they love to be outside. As a child, they were growing up playing outside or they've been involved in scouts or other opportunities to be outside camping, hiking, hunting and fishing. They're really outdoors oriented people. They have a distinct and deep love for God's creation. They see His presence, they see His power revealed in the creation, and therefore they have a desire to protect it, to care for it, and they want to learn how best to do that. They also are very analytically minded. They like to explore things and figure out, well, how does that happen, or why does that work that way? And so they come in with a typically strong in high school math and sciences, um, but they also have a strong interest in caring for people. We use science, as a way of caring for God's creation, but we want to do it in a way that serves people too. We use our science, we use our ethics, and we use the practice of caring for them with service-minded uh, opportunities in our courses.